welcome you all so ansys has released 2025 release one version so we'll see how uh, this version can be installed on the computer so first of all go to the google uh, click on the search box go to the click enter ansys student version go to the official website of ansys uh, go drag down so you will see the ansys student version which is available so the student version is free of cost is available you can see the download ansys 2025 release one tab so you can use it uh, for one year from uh, the date it has been uh, specified over here so let's see what is uh, inside the okay so you can see the first installation steps so these are the some instructions are given for installation of the uh, this version 2025 release one so again there are certain limitations in terms of uh, the system that is uh, uh, minimum 4 gb of ram has been required for this and the 50 GB of hard drive space is again required so better uh, if you are having more RAM definitely it will want to help us uh, but even if it is 4 GB still it will want to work on the system uh, after extraction of the files uh, the file size may go higher so that's why uh, sufficient storage has been required so these are the contents so for the structural physics again uh, the same limitation in terms of nodes and element in fluid physics again the 1 million cells and nodes we can use with the help of the student version of ANSYS so these are same as the previous version which was uh, been provided by ANSYS and again uh, again this number of uh, high performance comp uh, CPUs you can use at a time or four so this version can be renewable one you can uh, download the latest version which whenever it is available just like in January the first version is available similarly in July or June July you will get the second version that is 2025 release to and you can use again it for next one year so let's click on ANSYS uh, download ANSYS tab so this might take some time uh, once uh, this is uh, completed we need to actually extract the files which are being generated but one thing that has you have to remember is you have to go back to the program files and uninstall the previous version of ANSYS which is installed here so that is one thing that you have to do uh, that has to be carefully done so if you don't have sufficient space available in c drive you can install it either in d or e drive whichever is the free drive which is available in your computer so this is one of the thing which can be done so we have to wait till the complete files are loaded and accordingly we'll see the next so the ansys files uh, we have downloaded now let's extract these files so you will be this files will be extracted uh, as i said you can uh, save it in a in a drive where we have sufficient space available so this might take some time as you can see the file size is uh, slightly more than 15 gb so based upon the cpu speed as well as the speed with your computer the time requirement uh, will be more or less okay the installation is now almost getting completed you can see 1.1416 gp has been left so once this has been open uh, you have to go inside of this file you will see a setup option available so you have to click uh, on the setup uh, there and you have to run as an administrator so in that case you will be uh, subjected to the process of installation but before that uh, uh, you have to ensure that whatever the earlier version you are been there you are using it so you need to uninstall that version uh, how you can do this you can go to the program files c on the c drive or where the windows is installed and from that you have to uh, uninstall the setup which was the older version then you have to go with the, this version which uh, we are observing right now so at the bottom you will see the setup option available so you have to click the setup right click and run as an administrator so once you click as a run and administrator the file installation will start but as i said before that you must uninstall the 
the previous version. So uh, from the program file, we are click on the uninstall version. I'll install the older version which has been available in the computer. So this might uh, take some time for the completion. So when, uh, once this uh, whole process of uninstallation is complete, we can proceed to the next step. Okay, so now uh, we have started the process of installation of uh, the ANSYS. As I said, you need to right click on setup and uh, you have to run as an administrator. So this might take some time uh, for a while in order to complete it to 100%. So you can now see now it is around 59%. So this may take uh, uh, half an hour or more than half an hour depending on the capabilities with your computer also. So we are almost uh, at the end of the completion of uh, the installation. So you can see you can click on the exit button. Once you click on the exit button, uh, the thing is it is always better to restart the computer uh, and then open the um, we can see ANSYS files, but you can just click on work uh, in search box, click on workbench. You can see ANSYS 2025 release one version has been visible. So once uh, we'll see uh, what are the changes with respect to the older version or not, especially we'll open with the geometry part only and accordingly we'll see either, whether there are any second of variations with the uh, earlier version or not. So this is ANSYS 2025 release one the student version which is free of cost <laughs> okay so this may take some time Once it is loaded, uh, you can you will see the analysis and component system. So if the analysis and component systems are properly visible, uh, just like what we are observing over here, so it means the installation has been done successfully and there is no issue with the software. Next thing you can see at the top, this is analysis system. Uh, you can have various options like transient thermal static structural analysis. So the fluid flow fluent. Uh, fluent with meshing and so then there is a component system individually if you want to generate geometry or if you want to generate mesh or do certain operations so in that case you can go with the component system also so preferably uh, today we'll just uh, go with the fluid flow fluent option and we'll see whether there are any changes in the geometry uh, section or not so let's open first the geometry part uh, right click and edit new design modeler geometry so we'll see how what are any changes are there in the new design modeler window. Uh, there might be some slight uh, changes in the uh, user interface with respect to the previous version of ANSYS. So depending on the configuration of computer, the time requirement for opening the files may be more or less. Okay, so now this file is open. You can please close the window which is available. So this quite looks similar to the previous version of ANSYS so you can click on any one of the plane x y and z so that the planes will be visible 